hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel and today we are starting the rags to riches challenge and i must apologize for the image the sim has changed because i have recorded this now a total of six times and now we are finally at the final one so there are rules to this challenge which will be listed down below you're more than welcome to check them out i will obviously tell you them as we progress through the story so let me introduce you to giselle fletcher so giselle fletcher is the daughter of tom augustine and bianca fletcher and when she was born they were still in school and so they decided their parents decided for them that they would give her up for adoption so she grew up extremely poor and that is why she is dressed up like this but bianca fletcher and tom augustine eventually did get married and they had two children of their own now we will be meeting those children in the story because they are in this world i unfortunately can't show you them just yet we will have to look through her somology to see who they are um i'm sure that they do show here we go so we've got ray augustine who is married to stephanie and they have a little girl elizabeth and then we have giselle and her sister is paula augustine so they do live in the town somewhere we will obviously meet them throughout the story she has not yet met them i don't know if it is in her relationships just because they are family i don't think so yes she has not yet met her family so we will have to meet them through the story and the story is this her parents have now passed away and what they did was they left a lot of their money to their kids and they knew that giselle would not take their money so instead they left her a piece of land now giselle's adopt adopted parents have also passed away unfortunately so that is why you don't see her somology with parents because she is unsure of who to list as her parents also she never met her birth parents so that is the unfortunate story of giselle and giselle wants to be a collector so she loves beautiful things and she wants to collect beautiful things in her life so she does have the curator aspiration and we are going to follow the rules set out i'm sorry let me just turn this a little bit lower it is a little bit distracting so <clears throat> she will be collecting a lot of the items and we will try and complete her life's aspiration as well as following the rules set out by the mod mod the sims um so let's go around and start exploring the world so here we are in oasis springs i chose oasis springs because i don't really play in this in this neighborhood i don't play in this city i usually just play in willow creek or newcrest so instead of me creating an entire world i am just going to use this set out for us and it looks like she has just met mortimer goth so what we want to do with this is we want to create we want her to have the life that she's always wanted so we're going to find love we are going to get married and all those beautiful things but also to make it a little bit harder the reason why i dressed her up in poor people in these rags is because it is rags to riches so currently she is in rags and we will eventually get her to wear nicer clothes but we're going to have to buy them at a retail lot or if we do it in creator sim we will have to take money off of our account for those clothes so the rules are this you cannot put any items on your lot that cannot be put in your inventory so luckily because of the outdoor retreat pack we are able to purchase a shower a bed there's a, quite a few things that we can purchase that are able to fit into our inventory so i'm just going to go around now and look for some collectibles because obviously that is going to fit in with her aspiration and we also want to achieve her life goal and the reason why i did this is because i haven't yet done this aspiration for anyone i've done a lot of the other aspirations um this is probably one of the ones that i have not yet completed and then we will have to start a new series for the jungle adventurers i think we're going to make her child her firstborn the jungle adventurer so we will try and complete this 
with her family as well which is going to be a little bit more difficult but I'm very excited for this challenge Rags to Riches has always been one of my favorite let's plays to watch and I must apologize in advance for my terrible camera motions <laughs> for some reason I really suck at moving the camera so I am going to yeah now that we have been introduced to Giselle and is this town it's absolutely beautiful I really love it I'm really hoping we could meet maybe one of her everyone's out fishing today that's that's actually really cool I do want her to meet some people as well and I want I'm hoping that we can meet her family at least in this area it's very nice where we stay this is our lot over here but then right in front of us we have a food stall we have some benches to sleep on which is really great we are definitely not tossing coins in there and we have a dustbin to rummage through when it gets full so that's um, very exciting for little Giselle over here and I absolutely love her look even though she's dressed in these rags she looks so cute we did give her boots because if you are I feel like if you're unfortunate enough not to have a home good shoes are always good especially since she is a, cur a curator so she's going to be collecting a lot of things she's going to be walking a lot and exploring so I feel like that is the first item she would have purchased so here we go we are just uh, running around collecting items and we are going to sell them all because we need cash oh wow we got a baconite it even looks like bacon I assume that's why it's called that um, so yes she while she runs around discovering we are going to just quickly go over the rules let me grab my phone and then we can just go over these rules quickly because she's going to be running around quite a bit now okay so here is the introduction to the challenge so the point of this challenge is for each summer to get the sum of their choice from living in rags all the way up to riches in order to complete this challenge your sims must meet all of the main game challenge goals listed below. They are mandatory challenge goals that you must meet before you can complete some of the main challenges. There is also a list of optional goals for you to pick to choose from to go along with the main challenge. So there are certain main goals you are not allowed to complete until you finish the mandatory steps that go with them. These side challenges can be found in the mandatory steps section. Do not use any cheats unless it is to reset your sim, take away your money or allow you to move objects. In the beginning of the game, move into the most expensive empty lot and then get rid of all your money. If you need to know how to do this, refer to the helpful hints section. To make money before you are allowed to get a job, take advantage of the things listed in the making money section. Your spouse is not allowed to work until they have met the mandatory work requirements. If you have more than one working sim in your home, they must meet each of the requirements. You may not place anything on your sim's lot until you have unlocked the ma mandatory steps for building a home. Items your sim can carry are allowed to be set down or used on your own lot, excluding seeds. You are not allowed to place items outside of the walls of your home or use seeds until you finish the mandatory steps for building a garden. Before you own a bed, you must use public places to sleep. You may not place a bed on a public lot. Outdoor retreat users may use a tent if you want, but you must earn the money to buy it and cannot be placed on your home lot. Once your friend's level is full with the sim, you may stay at their home one night a week if you so wish. Okay, so we cannot buy a tent and put it on our home lot. That is a revelation to me because we have... What is this? It's a treasure map. Maybe we should open this. Can we... Place in world. Oh, okay, you can't. Can we not? How do we use a treasure map? This is the question. Before they start digging. Okay, um, so let us look around and see if we can find any more items to be collected so we are allowed to use collectibles we are allowed to go around the world and find anything that we can use we are allowed to rummage in dustbins 
we can purchase the items that go in our inventory but obviously we aren't able to we aren't able to place them on our home lot which is new um, I did not know that I thought we would able to we would be able to place them on our home lot if we had purchased them and they could still fit in our inventory so that is going to be a little bit more difficult so it just means we're gonna have to travel to like open areas like this and place it so we can sleep and shower and do all those wonderful things the only problem now is I did not place a, a bush to pee in I did not edit any of the the public lots or any of the lots in general so that is going to be a problem we do not have anywhere to use the bathroom okay so while she's still fishing I'm just quickly going to see what else we need to note so we can rummage for food garden public plants or cook on the outdoor barbecue until you have built your home so they say that you can survive off selling collectibles and making food before you get your home if you decide to any add any other sims beside the spouse and kids okay we don't have that we cannot earn money off clubs um, so our first thing obviously is wanting to build a home and start to build a home so the steps to building a home is you must have level 5 in the handiness skill and level 3 and um, 3 levels in logic you must pay a fine of $500 to the city for noise disturbances before you begin building so I think also to make this challenge a little bit harder we are going to charge for traveling so it'll be $10 or 10 simoleons there and back obviously I'm not going to charge or we could just make it 10 simoleons anywhere or 5 simoleons I don't know let me know down in the comments below I'm going to work it off 10 simoleons and every time she wants to travel she will have to pay that money so let me just deduct that money so it is going to be um, money 235 let's just make it five dollars for each time she travels so she has caught a fishy yay so excited we are going to stop this so we can start getting our logic levels up so we need logic level three and handiness level five which means we're gonna to have to purchase a book so let's head to the library we're gonna to have to go to the library in Willow Creek okay so in Willow Creek where is the library there we go let us travel to the library where we can get our logic skill up and we will have to then get our handiness skill to to level five okay we are also going to have to get $500 so let's play this while I look around the city I really don't think it would render so fast oh we can have we can rummage in a dustbin that is very good I don't think there's going to be a lot of collectibles or items around the area but we shall look anyway so once we start making money I feel like we can start um, buying clothes but I don't want to buy clothes until we've got a home because I feel like that would be the most important thing for her at this moment would be buying or would be starting a home so let's okay we can there's a lot of collectibles here which is very good it's very good for us and also if we have to travel with our tent It'll be really cheap for us to be able to travel around the world. The stuff dragons are definitely not blooming yet. And there's not a lot around Willow Creek here. Not yet. We'll have to wait a while until that stuff actually starts growing and blooming. Oh, dig. It's very big dig site okay so this is what is this this is the museum we could actually visit the museum it's very nice okay uh, how is she doing with her logic skills and she has found a friend who is this John Jurgerson okay hello John Jean it's quite a handsome dude guys 
Have we found her future husband? Let's hope he's not um, married. She seems to... Oh, she's thinking of boo. Okay. She also needs the bathroom, so we will come back here and use this bathroom. There's no trash for us to look through. Okay, so let us go and dig. That's Jeff Land Grab. We haven't yet met our siblings, which is a good thing. What is this? Okay, what are we going to find? Will we find something good? Does not seem that she found anything at all. Okay, well, there, there, there is always that possibility that we won't find anything. Let's hope this um, treasure map helps us find higher quality items. We also have some grills here, which is a good thing. We were able to cook food if we get hungry, but she just does need the bathroom. And we are actually looking at... We are getting low on hunger too. Okay, Giselle. Ooh, what's that? Did we dig this? I don't think we did dig this, so after the bathroom we can use that. And then I think we can just come back this way anyway, because she will be coming back this way. We will make some food. I don't really want to make food. I want someone to make food for us. Okay. Let's see, how far are we with our aspiration? We're on five, so we're halfway there. That is good news. Let us sell what we've collected so far. We found a leopard frog for a hundred dollars. That's very good. So Willow Creek seems to be giving us a lot of high quality collectibles, which is good news, which means we are close to 500 where we can start building on our lot. So actually the, the, the first mandatory step might be a little bit easy. We will have to obviously continue working on her logic skill. I, she has video gaming, which is completely useless at this time. <coughs> is that an item? Sorry. Yes, that is. <clears throat> oh, we can dig for treasure. So let us dig for treasure and hope for the best. Is there any more items around here? I'm very excited that Willow Creek has been producing so many goodies for us. That's good news. <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, my voice is completely buggered. It has been for the last few weeks, which is really bad. I do not know what is going on with my throat. But hey, such is life. Okay, so she is using the bathroom. I'm pretty sure this is the one we did dig already. Or the one we put for treasure, so I'm not going to dig that twice. Um, that is the one we're digging for now. Oh, we can dig for treasure there too. So let's cancel that one. Because obviously we want to dig for as much treasure as possible. Dig. Okay. Wow. So there's, there's new items already. But why are we upset? Why are we upset if you are peeing? Okay. And then we're going to have to eat something. And it's close to sleeping time. I do wish they had a couch in here that would have been much better for us to sleep in. But I almost feel like if you were ex homeless and you could come into a library, you would sleep on a straight up chair. That would not be a problem. Oh yes, there's an ottoman. That is fantastic. Let us go and adventure. Hopefully we can get some good treasure. Go Giselle, go. <clears throat> go make us lots of money. If we oh yes, yes, and they are having food here, which is good. We can also grab a serving. What have we got? A capsule. See, I don't like these capsules because they're really not worth much. I don't like opening them. You know what? Let's open it up and sell this one. So then, if it's bad quality, we have sold one. Um, 
Why can't you dig for that? Okay. Go to Zal. We need to get that food before it goes off. So we are hungry. We found some limestone. Fifty dollars. That's not bad. We already have enough money to pay the fine. I don't think we want to pay the fine just yet. We want to wait until we have it just in case we need money for food or maybe we want to get a new jacket because if winter does come I have set it to seven dollars I mean <laughs> 14 days for each season just because I want the seasons to be long so winter is going to be extremely long and yeah so it's exciting we're just gonna stay warm because we obviously don't want to die in winter but also we don't want it to be too short so Giselle let us be rich before winter please let's us have a wonderful winter wonderland can we rummage in there no fresh trash to start rummage okay now we are going to go get that again so what I'm going to do is go into the library where is the library now this is the only downside about exploring too long and we are going to have a nap there and then we are going to play some some chess so let's speed her up a little bit she is tired capsule we are selling these because it's, it's worth way more selling them whole than opening them up as you could see with last time we opened it we got $15 which we could have gotten a lot more okay so I very, I very much like this library. Let's speed through the snap. I'm very excited for this Rags to Riches challenge and she really does look so poor right now. Maybe she's just sleeping in the library. Okay. Ooh. Let's go out of tab mode. We are still on super fast forward. Let us just change it to medium. Okay. Maybe you should play with Kango. There we go. Get some of that social up and keep building that skill. So we are now. We are almost there to level 2. I wish I'd given her the genius trait, she would have been able to study this a lot faster. Okay, perfect. I wonder if the, I don't think the library closes at night, although it would really suck if it did. I need you to keep playing. You need to reach logic level three, so we are not too far away. We will also nap a few times. Okay, and your hygiene is getting low, so you're going to have to wash your hands, brush your teeth, and wash your hands again, just in case. Let's cancel that, because you are quite tired. There we go. And Kingo is just sitting there like, okay, it's quite normal for someone to sleep in the library. Okay, sleep, sleep, sleep. You're almost there. And then we are definitely gonna have to get some food it's very sad that we can't rummage in here okay we need to find some food I'm wondering if that food is still okay definitely not okay oh we can harvest some strawberries well let's go see what else we can harvest because if we can harvest some strawberries okay you need to wake up now or well, she still got one more Look at all these collectibles guys, this is very exciting. If she she will be able to eat the strawberries, so we can dig here. Awesome. Very exciting. So this is the last nap that she will be having. Oh wow, she is smelling up the whole place. I just the only thing I don't like about the public places is that we can't fast forward it all the way so that is a little bit of a problem okay let's cancel that 
read do they have books for handiness oh yes they do <clears throat> okay that is great so she's busy washing up and getting ready for the day cool and let's let us go and start harvesting all these collectibles so she's gonna harvest that harvest that We'll harvest all these as well. She is going to dig there. We need to dig here. Okay. We are fine tooth. Co we are fine combing this area for all the collectibles. We need more, more, more money. Money is good. Wow, there's a lot of things to be collected. I just want to get rid of some of these. Okay. Oof, there's another. Wow, guys, just one night of staying over. And we have... Wait, what happened to all the stuff? Wait, no. Why would you cancel all of it? What is going on? Sorry, guys. My whole computer just went weird. That was the weirdest experience ever. Okay. So she didn't collect any of the stuff that we had asked her to collect. I know she is hungry, but... It should definitely not cancel anything. We are just going to continue to redo all of these items that we did not get now. I'm going to have to wait to see what she hasn't collected. She's just going for gold. go Giselle you can do it All right, I don't think she has this okay let's just fast forward a little bit and get some of these items to disappear harvest all I'm pretty sure that's everything on this side I'm not 100% sure because that just cancelled all of our actions just in case there's a lot to collect okay so she is now on her way to collect these. Wow, okay, so we need to collect now five crystals, three fogs, three fossils. That should be fairly easy. I also want you to eat some of these strawberries. Because we oh wait, there is food. There is food, we can sell those. Let us grab a serving. We will keep the strawberries, so that'll be a good thing for us. Please find something. You never find anything. Yay! We got an Appaloosa Plains postcard. I kind of want to keep that because those postcards are cool to, to collect. Okay, so we've got two fossil rocks. We're going to sell those. Sell that. I want to keep the strawberries in case we don't have money. So that and this has given us quite a bit of money and we're still doing well so we might be able to pay the fine and start building our house at the same time let us just get our handy handiness skill up okay so now we know what his generally well what she has collected or what she is going to collect and we can go back over and see what else we can so there's nothing here these are all collected these are all collected I just want to make sure all the collectibles are collected in this area before moving on I believe that is everything oh well this area is also an area okay I believe that is everything in this area no more collectibles to be collected. Okay, go. Um, let's just say harvest all. Okay, that's perfect. So this area here has now been fine toothed, comb, fine combed. Um, um, uh. Now let us go over to this area. Harvest all. 
Roses are good because roses give you so much money. Okay, harvest all. Wow. We are getting a lot of money right now and we still have to do this area. So that is, that is good. That is very, very good. Let us wait for her to finish eating and then we will come back. So at least she's chatting to people while she's sitting. Getting that social up. And her hygiene is low as well. We're going to definitely need a shower soon. I just like how everyone's just sitting around having lunch together. It's very sweet. It's um, a very good community. What are you doing? I do not know what game she is playing because that is weird that she's not collecting the things she should be collecting. Um, I don't know if this was on our list. Let's just harvest all. If it is not, it will be on now. And if it is, she will just skip it. So there we go. Harvest all. What else do we have here? We have a great new digging site. Okay. And then I think it's time for us to go back to the library. Oh, we've got a we've got a partner in crime. Kingo, the librarian, is sleeping. Let's brush teeth. Let's get our hygiene up, which is very low. We also might just need a nap before we start studying. Okay. There we go. I think we are done with the collectibles for now. Oh, there's collectibles over there. I think I just want to leave that one for the next round. I feel like we've collected enough for now. We have almost $1,000, which is very good. Fairly good. Okay. So let us join him. We have not yet finished the. We have not yet finished the requirements for logic or handiness. We haven't even started on the handiness. At least for logic, we are almost complete. Few more left. Okay, so. How are we doing on logic? That is good. I wish someone would join us with the game. That would be really nice um, to get some of that social up while we're studying. Let us just play with Kingo. There we go. Perfect. Get some of that social up. We are almost done, but she's also crashing. So we're gonna get her to nap a few times. How long, how how is that skill looking? We are so close. Wait, what what happened there? Went from 86 to 77. Oh yes, it does that when you are tired. So just remember that when you're tired, your skills are impossible to complete. Okay, there we go. What is going on? Can we cancel that? There we go. Technically, I am on level 3, but my game seems to have just ignored that. We are extremely tired. I'm also just going to have to play just to push it over to level 3. And then we're going to have to read Handiness, Handiness. Level 1, try not to die. So I don't know if Handiness level 1 gets you all the way to level 5. We'll have to see... She's napping and I'm ready to take a nap. Okay, let's fast forward through this. Her hygiene is really a problem. Because it just keeps falling lower and lower. And what I mean, obviously all of her needs are going lower. I meant that it's going lower than expected faster. Okay. <coughs> Let us push that skill to level 3. Perfect. Now we need handiness level 5. I feel like once we reach level 5, we're able to just go back home. So I think for now we'll stay here until we have reached level 5. 
So let's just say she grew up in Willow Creek and this is her childhood library. So she used to love coming here as a kid. Okay, let's use the toilet. You are obviously not doing very well with studying. Let's get your hygiene up. And we are going to need to get you some food. There doesn't seem to be food around here. Do we still have those strawberries? Yes, we do. We'll just eat a few strawberries. I think. There we go. Wait, did you eat those strawberries or not? Eat. 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 Okay. And then I need you to continue reading the handiness. Okay. There we go. Afterwards you can take a few naps. I feel like we're doing well guys. We are keeping her alive. She is not tired. Well she is tired but she's not hungry. She has everything she needs. There we go. I am going to keep that postcard. We will sell everything else except for the strawberries because those strawberries are our snacks. Okay. Her social is social I find is always a problem with me and my sims. I don't like talking to these sims. Also, why is he so stinky? Why doesn't he just go home then? Is she the fill-in librarian? Does not look like it. Also, you need to finish reading Handiness Level 1. Go. As soon as that doesn't serve us anymore, we will have to buy the Handiness Level 2 book for ourselves. Okay guys, I just fast forwarded through that nap. That was so long. I can't believe how slow it's going. It's literally just sitting here watching each second pass by, which is absolutely crazy. And now her, she is full now, so she's able to finish that. Um, I'm also just going to keep getting her to eat strawberries. I wonder why she's not reading that book. Um, why can we not? Why is she not reading that? Are we done with that? Do we have to purchase books? No. Okay, there we go. She is finally reading the book. So we need to get her handiness to level 5. This is going to be a long process since she doesn't have a home with items to fix. Otherwise it would be a lot simpler to get her to level 5. We are also going to pay the fine as soon as that's done and we can go back home. We're going to start looking for some more items because obviously we need to be able to build something when we get the home. There's no point of us buying... Oh, is this good? Okay, let's grab a serving of that and start looking around here for some items. Okay, we are doing very well for ourselves. I'm so glad we chose this area. There is so many items here to collect. You're going to be millionaires before we even get our handiness level up, which is a bit of a problem. But hey. We live and we learn. Let her enjoy her meal there. Who is this? We got Supriya Delegato, which is going to keep her company and help her a little bit with that social. Her social is so low. Can we eat? Are you not feeling the food? The food looks weird. Grilled fruits. I don't know. Let me know down below if you guys have ever tried grilled fruits. I personally have not. It sounds very weird. I have tried fried bananas though. That's probably the only thing I've ever had. I've never thought of frying an apple, but fried bananas are super sweet. It's like a treat on its own. 
snow items there. We haven't collected this one. So let's harvest all of those. And I'm sure that yep, there is an item right over there. Cool. So this area is very good for us and our collecting um, aspiration. Let's get some of these items down so we can harvest some more. We are going to be super rich at the end of this. I feel like we'll be able to at least um, build a home. We're going to need a lot more money than 1,297 simoleons. But it is at least a very good start. We just need to remember to pay that fine. I almost have a feeling like I am going to forget it because I've been mentioning it so much that the likelihood of me forgetting to pay that is a very great. <laughs> Okay, um, let us go, harvest, 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 Just, there's so many items to collect here, it's actually crazy, there we go, and we can dig for those, okay, so I feel like we've gotten everything again, oh wait, we never come here. We haven't yet collected anything here, so let's harvest those. What else? I think that's all that can be harvested. Okay, so her hygiene is low again. We are just going to get her needs up so we can study some more. If her, leads, if her needs are low, then she does not do so well with anything else. Okay, wash hands. Let's try and get her hygiene full because that hygiene is actually quite annoying keeping that up. Okay, wash hands. So she's going to have super clean teeth. And we're going to definitely need some social. She also needs to nap again, which is going to take forever again let us nap three times I feel like three times is a very good amount okay this one is a lot faster than previously so I'm just gonna let her nap a few times and we'll be back when she's done okay we are back and she is just finished her nap and we have lined up for her to read her book again she really does not like this whole reading situation because she hasn't been doing too well with upgrading the skill i'm really hoping that we can finish um paying the fine this episode so next episode we can begin building so i'm going to sell all these items and i think we're gonna sell some of those strawberries we don't need to sell the whole stack but we just want a few to keep us alive wow we are getting a lot of money off this collecting we are soon going to be able to build a few walls, at least, which is good. Oh, okay, so it carries on. Hopefully we can reach, reach level 5 with that. I do doubt that we will be able to reach level 5. Reread. Uh, are we not going to get... I don't think we're going to get any skills. Oh, we are. It's very weird. You do not have to put the book down, thank you. You can just keep reading. We also might have to purchase some, purchase the next book online. I don't think that this is going to go all the way. Ooh, okay, so that's... Um, that is still working. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to have to purchase books there. So let us web... Why can we not... Um, why can't we buy or we can order... Purchase books. Okay, so skills... Let's get to handiness. Okay. 
that is exactly what we want and let's read that okay let us get to level five come on Giselle we can do this why are you not building skills I don't think she's yet ready for that so we are definitely gonna have to reread this okay that one was not working we're gonna have to read this until it doesn't give us anything else okay I'm going to just fast forward through this this is ours so let's just keep it in our inventory we do now own that book come on come on come on come on I feel like this hand in a skill is actually just a pain in the butt she does not look like she wants to be reading this I also am just dying watching this time go so slowly so I'm going to fast forward until something happens So guys we are back and she has now started to smell we are going to have to take care of her needs because <laughs> she is very in a very bad place right now so let us do that we're also going to have to get her to nap a few times because yeah everything is low let's see if there's any food no one has made food Oh yes, she has food. Okay, so before we do that, we're going to come here and we're going to grab a serving before we go to bed. And yeah. Oh, we've uh, finally... Finally finished that. Hopefully this girl is gone by the time we're back. she doing you need to eat so you need to eat that food where is that food there it is there grab a serving please you need to eat before you die here we are we can't nap on these benches we can nap on these she's gonna have to nap outside because she is extremely tired and hopefully it goes a lot faster if we nap outside. Where is Giselle? Shame. <laughs> it's so funny. Her walk is just hilarious. Okay. We... At least she gets some outside time because she has been complaining about being inside the library all day oh, we'll nap here nap 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 okay so she is on handiness handiness skill level four we just need to get her to level five i don't know if this is if we can read this yet we'll have to see oh, that guy is so disgusting seriously he just farts and he's like, hey, hey, hey. Hey. What a weirdo. What a weirdo. So Giselle is now, at least this goes, no, it's still not as fast. I am going to fast forward until we are done napping. I'll see you guys in a bit. 
Okay guys, we are back. She is just finishing up her last two naps and what we are going to do is come here and chat with a bunch of people. Ooh, 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 there's something for us to repair. Yay! I didn't know you could do that. I did not know we could repair items at the library. So we're not going to let her do that. We are just going to let her come through here. And we're also going to just let her socialize a bit because she is very sad. No, I want you to repair that first before you go and sit down. Okay, oh wow, we can repair this too. Yes, I did not know this. Um, at least now we know. Wash hands, brush teeth. Teeth, wash hands, brush teeth, use, wash hands, brush teeth, wash hands, brush teeth, wash hands. Okay, she, she is hungry. It is raining outside, so if we go outside, we run the risk of that. I think we're just going to buy some food here quickly. But we do have food, so just harvest more strawberries for eating purposes is there any more there's nothing here no collectibles here only those strawberries so we're gonna go eat those strawberries Ooh, scavenge for pots and we can scavenge for pots here and then we can come back and socialize so what is our skill at now 16% is not very good. Okay. She's not very happy with us, guys. Okay, so we're definitely going to need some food. This handling skill is definitely going to help us when we have our own home. We'll be able to do a lot more. Okay, um, let's also play with Mortimer to get some of that um, social up. There we go. I heard something break, but I don't see anything. Okay. There we go. We're having a conversation with a lot of people at the same time. You need to eat your eat strawberries. Eat another strawberry, and then no, wait, we don't want to sit. We want to nap, 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 and then we're going to read this. Okay. So the time seems to be going fast again. We are just going to sit and fast forward until we are done napping. So I'll see you guys again in a bit. We are back and we are almost done with this nap. And she is quite high. Um, our money is, situation is very good at this moment. I don't want to sell that just yet. I still want to use this for food. And we are about to read our new book and see if we can get our handlers level up to level 5. I do want to complete this first um, challenge before moving on to the next um, episode because I definitely want to start building our home. Yes, so finally this book is now for our skill level so we can sit here and read until we are done. So we are 27% complete. So I think after this we will work towards the building a garden step. So to complete the challenge we're going to have to have a fully furnished home with three bedrooms, a kitchen, a dining room, two bathrooms, a family or living room, a study with at least one computer, an outdoor garden and a pool. So that's very exciting but for us to begin obviously begin the building a home we have to complete all the steps that we have been busy with can you continue reading okay let's just I'll let you eat a story strawberry but I need you to finish your handiness skills so please sit 
Back down, Giselle. She definitely does not want to... Um... So we need to co complete at least one aspiration goal. And I feel like we are busy with this. Um... We've been getting a lot of frogs, not a lot of fossils or crystals, so that's a bit of a problem. I don't know if you have to actually, like, excavate the, the fossils for it to work, but we'll have to see about that. Um, she is almost finished, and I'm going to line up some of these things to collect so that when she is ready to pay her fine, she has enough money for the fine as well as starting her first home. So we can to harvest, dig, harvest, and plus she needs some outdoor time. She hates being indoors for so long. I don't know if we did dig that. Okay. Well, apparently she is reading and she's doing all the wonderful things that she does. Frogs. Okay. Harvest. Bluebells. Dig. Because she still has not finished reading this. <laughs> Come on, you are almost there. You are almost, almost there. We can do this. Fantastic, guys. So I think that's it. I think we're going to end this episode right here. We have completed the mandatory steps. In the next episode, we will go home and start building our first home. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And turn on the bell notifications if you'd like to be notified of a video when I upload a new video. I am going to start uploading daily. So stay tuned for all of that. And let me know down below in the comments below if you knew that there were rules to Rags to Riches. And if you followed them in your own private games. Or if you just did the general Rags to Riches challenge where you guys just chose a hobby and painted your way up or gardened your way up to the top. So yes guys, thanks again for watching and I will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.